Namaste, welcome to Geeta's Kitchen. All of us are now well aware of the importance of millets, but many do not know how to cook the millets and how to incorporate it into your everyday meals. One suggestion would be to introduce millet uh, instead of rice in just one meal in your day. So let's say either breakfast or lunch, replace rice with millets and try it out. And whatever you make with rice, same thing you can make with the millets too. That is how so easily we can replace. So today I am going to show you the essential for all South Indians which no meal is ever complete without this that is curd rice. So we will have a nice millet curd rice and along with it a traditional pickle known as puli inji. Very simple and easy to make. Here I have taken one cup of little millet. Wash it thoroughly two or three times till the water runs clear and I have soaked it for about six hours. You can even soak it overnight if you like or if you are making it for lunch, soak it in the morning as soon as you get up then during lunch time you can easily make it. So now I am going to drain out this water. Always use unpolished millets for good health benefit. It is very simple and easy to cook millet. See, we have soaked it, washed, rinsed, soaked, now drain the water. Now, for the consistency of your millet rice, depends on what you are used to. For regular curd rice, I use 1 is to 3. So, for 1 cup of millet rice, I have taken 3 cups of water and allowed it to boil. When the water comes to a boil, now add this millet rice to it. And uh, in a low to medium flame, I allow it to cook in an open pan till it is done. This will take you around 10 to 12 minutes. That is it. See, it is just 10 minutes now. All the water has been absorbed and the millet has also been cooked very well. Since we are making curd rice, we will switch this off and allow it to cool well. Now for the curd rice, take fresh homemade curd as much as required I am taking about you will need about one to one and a half cups first whisk it very well then only you will get lovely creamy curd rice to this add some salt and a little bit of hing also mix it well when the millet rice has cooled well only then you add this uh, curd mixture to it. You can add as much as required and mix it well. Add some more curd if required. This is perfect now. Lovely creamy consistency of curd rice. Now for the tempering, take a spoon of oil, add some mustard seeds, a little bit of purad dal, some jeera, here I have green chilli, ginger and curry leaves. Now just pour this seasoning on top of the curd rice. So your lovely creamy millet curd rice is ready and if you like this is optional you can just add some uh, pomegranate on top. So an amazing millet curd rice ready for you. Today's recipe is a simple and easy but very very tasty and maybe I can say it's a long forgotten recipe too that is puli inji. Instead of going for the regular pickles with lemon or mango, this is what we used to make at home using ginger. For making this I have taken a large lemon sized ball of tamarind and soaked it in water and kept it ready. About this quantity of tamarind. Just squeeze out the pulp, remove the seeds and fiber and extract the juice. 
this is one cup of water you can add one more cup of water and again extract the juice now in a pan heat about two tablespoons of oil we prefer to use thin oil that is sesame oil for this here i have washed peeled and finely chopped ginger approximately two cups and also um, three to four green chillies chopped and a few curry leaves add a spoon of mustard seeds two dry red chillies also add in this chopped green chillies and curry leaves next i am adding this finely chopped fresh ginger fry it well for about 5 minutes fry it well till the ginger is nice and crisp now we will add in all the spices one by one i can add about a half a teaspoon of haldi or turmeric powder this is methi seeds powder i am adding half a teaspoon add some hing powder you can add about 1/4 teaspoon mix everything well together next add in this tamarind extract and salt to taste allow this to uh, boil very well till the water reduces see when it starts boiling well like this and also it has started thickening now you can add jaggery and allow it to cook till it becomes to a nice thick consistency and the jaggery melts see now it has become nice and thick it has started releasing the oil and leaving the sides also so this is a good consistency for the puli inji and we can switch it up see our puli inji is done and ready now a perfect combination for so see how easy it is to cook millets and enjoy the awesome health benefits and uh, today i have used little millet you can use fox tail millet barnyard millet or other millets too following the same process not only that your lunch is ready in just maximum 15 minutes because the millet rice gets cooked in 10 to 12 minutes that's all you need and just mix it and have it a very good awesome combo of a little millet curd rice and puli inji definitely try out this recipe thank you for watching the video please subscribe to geeta's kitchen and we'll meet again with another interesting recipe from geeta's kitchen thank you